Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have another tool video, a Japanese tool to take a look at in from Koken. This is the Koken Attack Driver. This is a manual impacting driver. We've looked at these in the past, talked about in the past, uh, used them on the screws for the air oil separator plate on Subaru engines. Also very useful on Honda and other manufacturers brake rotor screws. That and many other uses. With that said, let's go ahead and unbox the tool, take a closer look at it and test it out and use it. So there's several different configurations of the Koken Attack driver. There's this version, which I picked up, the AG112H. This is the comfort grip version of the Attack driver. It has a rubber overmold. There is a, another version that does not have this rubber overmold. Not sure the part number. I will add it to the description or on the bottom of the video right now on the screen. Uh, but there's two different versions of the actual attack driver itself. Several different sets and configurations of what bits and sockets it comes with. So this is the AG112H. Again, as I said, let's go ahead and get it open and see what we get in this set. First off, again, Koken, the Japanese dedicated to quality and longevity of their products. Nice steel powder coated box, nice presentation, gonna keep your set secure and safe for years and years to come. Uh, the stickers here, the Coke and Tool stickers, uh, already opened this set, got those out of the lid, but you do get a set of stickers. Open up the metal latch, flip the lid, and here we go. We've got a little piece of styrene in the top for protection. Uh, with this bit driver set, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bits, your bit holder and the attack driver itself. So we've got a number one, uh, excuse me, a number two, a number three, and a number four cross type. We've got an 8, 9, 10, 12, and 14 flat. We've got a 5, 6, 8, and 10 millimeter hex. We've got a T30, T40, T45, and T50 Torx. We have our bit holding socket here, which is half inch drive. Has a nice uh, spring around here with a ball detent to hold the bit securely. And the prize, the whole shebang, what we're here to look at, the Koken Attack Driver of course, made in Japan. Again, as I said, this is the comfort grip version. Uh, the good thing about the comfort grip version is one, uh, in the winter time, it's not gonna freeze your hands when you grab it. You're not grabbing a big chunk of cold metal. You do have that nice overmold in between. And two, with the overmold, you've got this big ring here. So you're more likely to protect your hand if you're not too keen with the hand-eye coordination. Uh, if you don't strike the center here with your hammer, uh, you do have a little bit of protection hanging out here over the meat of your hand and uh, will likely uh, be more likely to deflect it away than the regular tech driver, which is uh, this piece here without all this nice ever molding. Uh, so you don't have so much of a shield over your hand. Uh, so you see there's a pointer here, there's an R, and there is an L. Uh, so you can either tighten with this thing or loosen with it. Most of the time, uh, most people will be loosening with it because there's an impact driver to remove stuck fasteners rather than tighten fasteners. Uh, again, most prevalent uses for me, being working on Subaru, will be for getting the uh, screws out of air oil separator plates and piston pin access covers on EJ series engines. Uh, there's several other things in the engine bay where this could be useful. Uh, but, you know, Honda cars, as I said before, and other manufacturers that use rotor retention screws. Uh, Hondas are notorious for that. So we've basically taken a look at it now. I should put in some clips of up close and personal with the macro lens, get some good details on the tool and the bits. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let's get outside. Uh, let's get this thing on some fasteners, grab a hammer, and see how well it works. All right, so we can't get all of these out due to the engine stand, as you can see. Normally have to do the air oil separator plate reseal while the engine is on the hoist rather than the stand. Um, we do have clear access to this one screw, so let's go ahead and knock it out. No effort, a couple taps, 
with the coconut attack driver and out she comes there she is uh, there is our screw from our air oil separator plate uh, we go around and remove all those to do the reseal on that plate as well on the other side to replace the o-ring for the piston pin access cover uh, the main use I can think of off the top of my head for the attack driver on Subarus. Uh, let's go outside and see if we can find anything else to knock loose with the Coke and attack driver. We've got a super rusty 10 millimeter headed bolt. Uh, I believe it's an M6 by one, uh, but super rusty. It's got a cross type fastener in the 10 mil hex. Let's see what the Coke and attack driver will do. Look at there, one smack and uh, turning that bolt right out of there. Super, super strong. One good wallop, got it. And also turn it back in. And if we need to, give it some taps to tighten it back down. Uh, so the good thing about the attack driver, other than being able to do uh, some hex headed fasteners, some Torx headed fasteners and some flat headed fasteners. You can also put half inch drive sockets on here and use it to impact regular bolts and nuts. So let's go ahead and take a swing at some now. So 14 millimeter socket here on the idler pulley. Let's see if we can knock that loose. And look at there, knock that loose. As I said, you can use it like an impact. Even on regular bolts, just put your half inch drive impact sockets on there and go to town. Even tighten it back up. Here's some 14 millimeter uh, bolts on the frame rail. And got that loose. Got that one loose. And that one is loose. So yeah, you can use this in place of a air or battery powered impact as well to loosen bolts. So if you don't have air and you don't have any battery powered power tools, any battery impacts, uh, you can uh, get you a big old hammer and uh, do it the old school manual way. So yeah, works really well with sockets, just as good as it works with the various bits. And again, you can tighten them up as well rather than only loosening. So a pretty handy tool to have. And that will do it for our video on the Koken Attack Driver. Links in the description below for this tool and for KokenUSA.com if you want to check out the website and other Koken tools. Promo code Mr. Subaru 10 good for 10% off of your Koken tools order at KokenUSA.com. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.